Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo for the month of July. It is a general reading, so it won't resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So what we see here sitting central is Esclamant de Foi, and she's in the reverse. <clears throat> so clearly something here is not growing. Something that, <clears throat> you know, you were nurturing doesn't appear to be growing. Um, the balance, it's like you're putting all the effort into this. Um, you're being very careful, very cautious. You're trying to find out why this is happening. Uh, why, what is this disturbance? What has, uh, has caused this to stop growing? You're uncertain about the future at this point, um, but you, uh, you cannot see. You're, so there's confusion here. Um, you may fear deception. The moon is here and it is dark. You may fear that something is hidden from you in this relationship. You may be gathering information um, behind the scenes. Again, it's that note of caution and he is very cautious also extremely careful, extremely careful as he gathers his information about what exactly that disturbance is that's causing this relationship to stop. You may have received some bad news um, here, um, unwelcome news, having to do with a long-term commitment and you're reflecting on this. Trying to decide your next move, analyzing the situation. There are burdens here. You, I feel like you carry all the weight or you're doing all the work here in this relationship and you're not getting anything back on, on this from the other person. You're feeling, you know, even if you're in this relationship or in a relationship, you feel alone and you're feeling miserable. Um, there can also be jealousy with this card. You're looking for a solution to this situation. Um, it's possible that you may discover that this person has not been faithful or was not faithful. Or, um, you may be hoping that they do the right thing. You're not sure anymore if you can rely on this person. You could be or feel you might be facing an ending here, but you don't want this because clearly your cup is still full. So I feel like there could have been some uh, an affair or cheating here. And the flame is in the reverse. So it's like the, the, the passion was allowed to die out. And that can happen often in long-term relationships. It's almost like you forget about it. And, you know, you you go off and you, you do your things and um, you forget about the passion. And it's just, it's like it dies. But you get, um, you get a message here uh, of hope that you can bring this flame back to life. And this is what you grab onto. It's like, this is what you think about 
it's this little flame or this little uh, uh, spark of hope that you move forward with. And it's here in the window. You're moving towards the light in the window. You may have felt shut out. Yes, you may have been deceived. You may feel betrayed. But you're taking that little bit of hope and you are moving forward with it. You still love this person and you still want to try to save this. You want to turn this back upright. And it seems as though the other person has also been doing some thinking. Um, he's in the hangman mode. And so this hangman in particular, he's been walled up for quite some time. And now this wall is coming down. Um, he may be required uh, to sacrifice something for the journey. And this could be anything. He might have to sacrifice time. He may have to give more time to this relationship and less time to work or wherever his attention was. Um, he may have to sacrifice beliefs or outdated beliefs. He um, will most certainly, if he's been cheating, have to have to release that uh, other person. But it seems as though he comes in peace, um, wanting also to save this relationship. I feel um, like you've been you've been hurt, and that that's clear. The Queen of Swords is sitting in the outcome, and you're looking over all of your information. Um, I think that um, you will be listening to your intuition or letting your intuition guide you through this. Um, the sun falls on the seven of cups. So there's clarity here, um, a clearing of the mind, of the thoughts in the mind, um, the emotions, the warmth and the happiness, the harmony, returns with the sun. So this is reaching um, a happy outcome. This is family. So this gets resolved, and it could be that a lot, because this is a card of fantasy, Um, so maybe not everything that you were feeling was correct. I feel like this person does love you, did love you, does love you. They made a mistake, but they are owning up to it here. Now, you have the answer to solve this, okay? Like, okay, I'm just going to go here. <laughs> um, healing and transformation are indicated with this angel. It's time to rest and renew yourself. It takes, uh, this angel will take a relationship from sickness to health. That's exactly 
what is going on here. The relationship was not doing well. This angel is going to help to bring it back to health again. Now, uh, before I read this angel, I will move to the one at the bottom of the deck. And it is Crocelle, and it speaks to mystery. Um, this angel reveals the darker mysteries of the soul. This is events that... Um, it speaks to events below the surface that are influencing your life. Now, Fergus speaks to good fortune that will follow from listening to the wisdom of ages. So now, Here we have stuck in the mud, cleaning house, and magic prayer. So stuck in the mud. In, in the mud. Um, sorry, pointed to the wrong one. It's here. <laughs> stuck in the mud. You're stuck here um, and most likely struggling to get out or to pull yourself out. This card tells you <clears throat> to try shifting your focus away from the problem for now. Place your attention elsewhere. It's not the time to move forward, but rather to observe. The clarity about your circumstances will come a little later when you can look at it with fresh eyes. So um, this goes back to Hegenti, uh, um, which is telling you it's time to rest and renew yourself. Take a break pull away from it and still the mind. The answer will come. You are to trust that spirit has a plan for you. You may need to do some cleaning house here with this card. It's time to declutter your life. So, and this can be in the physical home, in the thoughts, memories, emotional baggage that needs to be swept out and released because your conscience must be clear in order for you to move freely in the world. So um, this is about doing that spring cleaning and feeling the freedom as you make your way for much better things. It says to look at what you have resisted discarding and be honest about its true value. The magic prayer is a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That being said, the best prayer is, Thy will be done through me. Thy will and not mine be done. Surrender your wishes and desires to Spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will get what you need. So, take the time to step back and um, declutter. In doing so, you will see clearer. And, you know, I feel you could be holding on to things that, um, that are uh, directly influencing this situation, and that n things that need to be released. So, there is a happy outcome here. So, things may not go exactly as you envision. I will use that word. 
but with spirit it will be much better than you had envisioned. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.